The U.S. Navy is undergoing a quiet transformation, one that might define the future of warfare at sea. While shipbuilding delays and budget debates continue to raise eyebrows in Washington, behind the scenes, a new arsenal is taking shape. These weapons aren't just upgrades, they're game changers. Let's start with the AIM-174B Gunslinger, the longest ranged air-to-air -air missile in American service. With roots in the SM-6 Interceptor, the Gunslinger can strike targets over 300 miles away, far beyond the range of the fighter that launches it. It's not just long range, it's also fast, hitting speeds up to Mach 3.5 and maneuverable enough to chase down hypersonic threats. But now the Navy wants to give it a new role, hypersonic missile interception. A new warhead project aims to give the AIM-174 a wider blast radius, turning every Super Hornet into a roving air defense platform. This could be a vital stopgap in conflict zones where land-based systems are scarce or still in transit. Next, dive beneath the surface. The Compact Rapid Attack Weapon, or CRAW, is a mini torpedo designed to be fast, deadly, and easy to deploy. It's part of a wider effort to maximize firepower from Virginia-class submarines. The Revolver MP system allows subs to launch swarms of these mini torpedoes from standard tubes, dozens at a time. Instead of 20 heavy torpedoes, a sub could carry up to 160 mini torpedoes, each able to sink smaller vessels or intercept incoming threats. Add the fact that these can now be fired vertically from revamped payload tubes, and you've got submarines that can swarm enemy fleets with unprecedented ferocity. But it's not all about kinetic firepower. Enter NMESIS, one of the Navy's most secretive programs. Its goal? to fool enemy radars into seeing warships that aren't there. Using electronic decoys like the Long Endurance Electronic Decoy, or LEED, the Navy is creating ghost fleets, swarms of network drones, flying in formation just above the water, mimicking the radar signature and movements of full carrier strike groups. If it works as designed, this tech could completely confuse enemy sensors, draw missile fire away from real targets, or trigger premature responses, all without firing a shot. Now back above the surface, meet the Roadrunner M. This reusable interceptor drone, developed by Andril, launches vertically from Navy ships, uses AI to determine if a target is hostile, and returns for reuse if it's not. Armed with a proximity-fused warhead, it closes on threats like enemy drones or cruise missiles at high subsonic speeds. And it's smart. It can dodge, reassess, and be managed by a single operator, overseeing multiple interceptors. It's already in use aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, and could soon be standard for fleet defense. And then there's the big one, hypersonic strike. The conventional prompt strike missile, or CPS, is the Navy's first hypersonic glide weapon. Mounted on stealthy Zumwalt-class destroyers, this missile flies more than 2,000 miles at speeds too fast for current air defenses to reliably stop. The missile's warhead isn't explosive, it's kinetic. Pure velocity is the kill mechanism. The Navy is fitting Zumwalt destroyers with four massive tubes, each holding three of these weapons. Eventually, Virginia-class submarines will carry them too, allowing deep-sea platforms to strike targets faster than ever before from thousands of miles away. Each of these systems, hypersonic, electronic, autonomous, or modular, is a signal. The Navy is evolving. In a world where near-peer rivals field long-range missiles, drone swarms, and cyber capabilities, the United States can't just rely on carrier presence, it must innovate to survive. These five weapons represent the tip of the spear for America's seaborne power, and as tensions build across the Pacific and beyond, the oceans may become the front lines of future conflicts. The U.S. Navy is preparing. Are we watching closely enough? This is sea power.